one cool thing, something that you really like and you think our viewers and listeners will like to? It's a book and I'll explain something. So basically, I used to, I was very into this writer when I was young, because you, you learn it at school. He's a Portuguese writer, poet called Fernando Pessoa. And recently I was at an airport and I didn't have a book and I was like, oh, I just want to buy something. And I saw a translated version of this book I used to read when I was young. I was like, I'm just going to buy this. And I have been obsessed with it. In fact, this is the second one because the one I bought at the airport, I gave it to one of my friends um, to share. I feel like I just want to give this to everybody. Um, so this, this is brand new and it's a different translation. It's a different edition. So it's actually quite different as well. But the, 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 it's called uh, the book of, of disquiet. disquiet. Yeah. The thing about this, which I'm trying to explain is so Fernando Pessoa is a Portuguese poet writer, very short life. I think he died at 40 something and he was born in the 1888. So we're talking about the beginning of the 20th century and the incredible thing about this guy is that, you know, those writers who write under different names, they called uh, pseudonyms. Mm -hmm. So he didn't write under a different name. He wrote under different alter egos that he called heteronyms. Mm -hmm. He made up that word. And basically he had three main alter egos he wrote under. So all these alter egos had um, a life, a different writing style, hmm. a date of birth, uh, like everything you can imagine they had. And very frequently they commented on each other's work or translated each other's work. <laughs> and the incredible thing is, is that after most of, of um, his work was found after he died and they found over 150 different alter egos. So this man here, this thing here, was the biggest genius, insane person. Mm -hmm. In this particular book, the book of Disquiet, there's, there's some stuff written under his own name, um, but this book is actually written under the name of Bernard Suaj, which is uh, an alter ego. And it's the alter ego that is the closest to him, mm -hmm. to himself. And this alter ego lives in Lisbon, as a, 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 a desk clerk um, and it's all about the melancholy of life mm -hmm. basically but it's the most inspirational thing ever yeah. and so i wanted to share that if anyone is interested in fernand pessoa um you should definitely go to wikipedia and read about him and um in this particular book i absolutely love maybe i should read something from it Okay, so he says, When I consider with all the clarity I can muster what my life has apparently been, I imagine it as some brightly colored scrap of litter, a chocolate wrapper or a cigar ring that the eavesdropping waitress brushes lightly from the soiled tablecloth into the dustpan amongst the crumbs and crusts of reality itself. Wow. <laughs> So he's 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 great. Yeah. He's uh, honestly, and I've I've had, and this is it, the book has been compiled after he died, mm -hmm. out of thousands of scrap papers. So every edition is a little different um, of the way they put it in order. Mm -hmm. And so it's a book that you can just pick up, open a page, and read. You don't have to read mm -hmm. it from beginning to end. And. Um, yeah, it's considered one of the best works of the 20th century uh, that not many people know of. And um, yeah, it's my new passion wow. at the moment. I love it. I love it. So was it like his actual mental condition that he had split the personalities or he invented them for I don't know. On purpose? Yeah. I don't know. I think he I think he had a very um, very big inner life. Uh -huh. And I, I think it could be both Hmm. He was an alcoholic as well. Um, he was celibate, apparently. Um, so I think there's a lot, a lot that it was just, I don't know. Maybe he just wanted to create his own competition. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He basically created a generation of writers and it was all him. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm telling you, they're all different, all different styles and themes and um, 
it's it's pretty unbelievable mm -hmm. and not many people know of him there, there's scholars that study just his work and there's still things being found um, from him so it's it's uh, yeah it's an endless pain I'm hoping that new generations and international generations would will, will, will discover him mm -hmm. because um, he is a world yeah he's a world in itself and um, yeah and I grew up hearing about him obviously in Portugal he's one of our greatest and and now it's back nice. in my life